Hi, I'm Jerry Buckner and welcome to my course on making money in the voiceover business. Whether you're just starting out or you've been in the business for a while, I'm going to share with you my secrets for making more money and landing more jobs in a very highly competitive field. I'm not going to waste your time with fluff and useless information. The fact that you're here tells me you want to make some money. So I'm going to show you what works for me and has increased my income and hopefully it's going to do the same for you. In this course, I'm going to tell you how to set up a home studio and how to develop your voice to give you an edge, how to record your demo, how to find voiceover jobs, and what to say in your audition messages. It's a fact that getting a voiceover job is very tough. There's a lot of competition and a lot of talented people out there, so just being good is not good enough. you got to stand out from the crowd, and it's not easy. But I'm going to teach you what I've learned that's helped me increase my job success rate and earn more money. Now, this course will not take you a long time to go through because I know that you want to be out there making money fast and not reading a bunch of cliches and going through useless information. I'm going to give you the tips that count and will hopefully get you out there making money as soon as possible. But first, let me give you a little background on myself and how I got into doing voice work. I played in bands for uh, my early years, high school years, wrote songs with my best friend, Gary Garcia, and eventually we were able to make a living writing jingles, but we wanted a hit record. So we wrote songs in between our jingle work. Well, after a series of minor successes, we finally hit the top 10 with a hit record in the 80s called Pac-Man Fever. We also produced the theme to the TV show WKRP in Cincinnati, and most recently the theme to the hit Disney animated movie Wreck-It, Wreck-It Ralph. Originally, I wanted to actually get into radio right out of high school because I wanted to be a top 40 DJ. Well, I grew up in Northeast Ohio listening to some of the greatest personality radio in the country, and I really had a passion to do it. But music, well, the urge was stronger, so that's the direction I ended up taking. But because of my success in music, I met and became friends with a lot of radio guys. I never lost the bug for radio, along with my love for comedy and doing characters. So when a friend of mine offered me a job to do character voices on his morning show, I jumped at it. I got paid for having fun, and it was great. When the show ran its course, I decided to try doing voiceovers. Well, I thought because of my experience in radio that I was going to just be a shoe-in. But I found out quickly that that wasn't true. It took me a long time to figure out a different path to get noticed and start making better money. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this course. But there's no guarantees. But if you apply yourself to my methods and have the talent, then you should have some success too. Remember, it's up to you how hard you want to work to become a valuable voice talent.